What's happening folks, Turkey here and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. So we're playing some thrall in today's video. We're playing on the Sky Temple map, so let's take a quick look at the teams. So my team is Thrall, Stitches, Kel, Thals, Elden, G and N on the enemy team we have Blaze, The Butcher, or Fia, Hanzo and Samuro. So level 1 guys, we're going to pick up Echo of the Elements. This is a quest talent. Every time you kill a minion with your chain lightning, you get a stack. Once you get 20 stacks, you get 2 stacks of chain lightning. So where have I been at guys? I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I broke my finger and work. It's getting better now. Stitches, where are you going? Oh, you're going for the watchtower. I'm going to let them fight over that. So I broke my finger, so I couldn't use it for about 6 weeks. And then I had tennis elbow as well. I had to get a steroid injection into it as well. So I wasn't really allowed to use it either. So it's all, everything's all better now. I can finally wear my wedding ring, although I haven't put it on today because I'm not that long out of the shower. Yes. So Thrall, I've been watching some videos on YouTube on how to play Thrall and I really do enjoy Thrall's playstyle. He's probably not the best. He doesn't do everything well, but he does. Well, he does everything well, but he doesn't. Man. I am. Oh, I got one. Nice. Oh, I am fucking this up. <laughs> Let's try that again. So, what you want to do is damage the three minions in the back till they get sort of low. Kill one minion with your uh, chain lightning and let it go off cooldown, and then kill the three at the back. But I fucked that up, of course, because I'm too busy talking. It's quite hard to do both at the same time. No, oh, God. Yes, yeah, got one stack. I need to get these minions to push out a bit. I'm too far forward. I could get ganked at any minute, but we do have the vision. And there comes Blaze. Ah, you're just too slow, son. Nice Samuro, boy. Now we just have to try and kill minions and get this stacked up as quick as possible. Oh, come at me, you know. Oh, shit, it died. What is this stitch just doing? So, guys, this is a levers game, so I can't see us winning this. Levers games are always absolutely terrible. Nope. So, at level 4, guys, we're going to pick up Mana Tide Totem every time we gain Frost of Resilience. We get, uh, we get some mana back, and it reduces the cooldown of our basic abilities. I thought he was in there. I've only got four stacks so far, it could be better though. I near not got ganked in the middle lane and the fucking minions got stuck here, of course! Right, let these minion wheels push in, stitches please. Ugh, oh, what a donkey. Right, let's see if we can get us. There's three, nice. I don't know which one's a real one. I don't think he's attacking me. So it looks like the Jags have spawned guys, one on the top lane, one on the middle lane. This is the Sky Temple map, you know how it works. I root it them, that's the best I can do. You turn around there. Nice! So let's head back here guys for the objective, get some mana back and some fucking health as well. Well, I'm so ropey, I haven't played HOTS in a long- This is a leavers game, I must have got drunk one night and got fed up and just stopped playing. Like, I don't usually leave games that often. Only when I'm drunk, don't cry baby, what a nice name. This guy's also silent as well. So it looks like the enemy are going to pick up the bot the middle one. I might as well go down here and soak some XP, try and get my stacks. You should be able to get this done by level 7, but of course I haven't. So at level 7, guys, we're going to pick up Ancestral Wrath. Every time we get hailed by our Frost Rift Resilience, it gives us a stack. Once we get 8 stacks, we can use this to do 15% of the enemy's damage over time. No, I'm not going to get this one. There's two, nice. Maybe I'm going to lose one here. No. God's sake, I'm not getting enough. Magic of the Let's head up to the middle lane and see if we can get some more stacks. I want to get this completed as quick as possible. It should be completed by now. Oh, 
Nice. Ah! I'm just not fast enough, son. Oh, I didn't see Hanzo. I'm so dead. Like, fuck, how did I not see Hanzo in amongst that? I thought it was. <laughs> oh, pile of shit. See what I mean? Ropey, guys. I need to get back into this game. I'm losing interest, though, guys. I really am. Ever since HCC was discontinued, there's no pro scene anymore. Who creates the pro scene? The pro players do. Or who creates the meta, guys? The pros create the meta. And there are no pros playing anymore. Who do you go now to get fine guides? I don't not Paradox is still getting guides, which is nice of him, but Grubby's completely left the game. He's doing no videos on it anymore, which is unfortunate. And that's who I would usually go to to see how to play a hero. We're missing Soak down in the bomb lane. So that's another reason why Hot's videos are going to start to die down a bit. I'm still going to try to do the old Freddy video, but sometimes you have to learn heroes. Nice. Everybody's dying up top. Like I said, guys, I'll be shocked if we win this game. Still haven't got this bloody quest completed. So let's say the general spawn guys is in the bottom lane as usual. This is the Sky Temple map. Most of our team's dead, just get out. Finally! He just does not listen. Listen to me! Why are you in there by yourself? Oh, lovely! So, we're gonna pick up Earthquake here, guys, at level 10 because we are fighting and running an objective and it slows the enemy right down. Of course, Elodin dives too deep. Oh, it's so good to finally get a go at Heroes of the Storm, guys, but it's just such a shame that Blizzard sort of abandoned the game. It's good that they're still making heroes, though, you know, and giving updates. As long as people are playing this game, guys, it's not dead. I got a game here very quick, and that was just, and that was a fucking, a Labour's game. How did he survive that? Nice! <laughs> Dank? What? What does dank mean, guys? Anybody know? Write it in the comments. I don't fucking know. I don't... Ah, uh, that must be Russian. Must be a Russian thing. Need to be careful here, because Gina is in the top lane clearing that wave, so we can't really engage, although they're... Beautiful. Out of Gina Ferry up top, she got away fine. So on uh, level 13 is we <laughs> level 13 guys, we're gonna pick up Grace of Air. This grants us double frost roll resilience. He actually died for that, like. Nice job, Gina. Ah! Thought that would have picked up the goal. It is going to. Nice. Looks like the objective is spawned, guys. One in the middle, one on the bottom. Nice. As for all, guys, you want to be using your abilities as much as you can because your Frost Rails Brazilians will just as the cooldown of your basic abilities. And it gives you mana back, so you have plenty of mana. They're going to go up here and tap the well. 
Oh, what a lovely ultimate coming out from Morphea there. I walked right into that. Sora went in there to try and save Stitches and I died, but her ultimate was nice, like... Oh, sack and death, that's not too bad for quick match and no support. Oh, shit. And they go down there and just get completely wanked. So the enemy are going to be going boss. Maybe they're not. It could be. That should be GG guys. So at level 16 guys we're gonna pick up Tempest Fury. Our one Fury hits three times. That was a lovely boss still guys. I do love a boss still. Gets my knuckles rock solid like Gets me f <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> YouTube's so weird now. I survived that. What is going on? I am so out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that was that was nice there. I like that. And there's the GG. Nice. My magic flows through. Can't believe I won a Lieber's game. Fucking shagging. Oh. I love the old heroes, can I see these new heroes that they keep introducing, like, I don't play them, I love the old heroes, like, they're just so much fun to play, it's probably because I know how to play them the most and I'm scared of learning other ones, it takes time, like, it takes, it got so 30 games to learn a hero, like, it really does. Uh. Pardon me, well, I must have done 31% of the team fight damage, nice. Nice! Let's check our damage. 34,000, oh, <laughs> that was only 12 minute game, I suppose, like. Could have been higher. So that's the Thrall build there, guys. At level 20, I would have probably picked up the shield for our Earthquake because it's just so strong in team fights. Earthquake's very good in that map because, as you can see there, around the boss and run around the and around the objective. Not that I got showed off much. It can really slow down the enemy and what they want to do. It really stop them from retreating there on the boss. So it did. So level one, we picked up Echo of the Elements for two Chain of Lightnings. We got Mana Tide for reduced ability cooldown and extra mana, so we can just use our abilities really, really well. This is when Thrills. Oh, I picked up Fall 3. I was meant to pick up on Sasserath. I was wondering there, guys, why I was doing crits. You know, I was like, why am I getting crits here? Is it something new with Thrill? But I picked your own talent. I would usually pick up a Sasserath here because it hits you for 150% of the damage you do. If you do this on a tank, you're going to get nearly. You're going to get a lot of health back. I've already tried it. Like, uh, it's definitely good. So you're meant to get an Sasserath there. That was my bad picking the wrong talent. These are two big power spikes for Thrill. And then we got the two on our. We got Grace of Air and Tempest Fury at level 16 and level 20 we would have got the shield. So guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video and I do apologise that there has been no videos for a while but I was in major pain to even play anything. But it, I have a Oblivion playthrough started. I have four videos of it already made which is great. Oblivion is such a great game. And I'm going to be coming back be doing Friday videos as well. I tried to do one on Friday there, but I fucked up the commentary and then the wife came home, you know, and I couldn't, can't really play the computer when she's here. Can't really, 
I don't know what it is. It just feels awkward YouTubing when she's here. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And there will be more HOTS videos. And until then, guys, take care.